go. Hey, and welcome back to Mr. Gregoris Math. So today we're taking a look at solving a system of linear equations by elimination. So over here, we've got our question, solve by elimination. We have a system of two lines. Um, we're just gonna walk through our steps on how to do this. So we'll take a look. Step one says we'll number the equations off. We can number them whatever we like. I'm gonna choose to number them equations one and equation two. So equation one will be the first and equation two the second. Excellent. Our next step says to change a pair of coefficients to be equal. Remember, coefficients are the number in front of the variable. So here I have negative seven and negative two. Those clearly aren't equal. My other coefficients are positive one and positive three, and those aren't equal either. So now I have to decide which pair is easier to make equal, the x coefficients or the y coefficients. In this case, I think it's gonna be the y coefficients. So what I'll do is I'll make a little line because I'm gonna actually have to manipulate the equations here. I think it's probably easiest to change this one into a three. So the way I'm going to do that is by multiplying all of equation one by three. So every term in equation one is gonna get multiplied by three. So negative seven times three is negative 21. Positive one times three is positive three y. And negative 19 times three is negative 57, I think. At least I hope it is. Now I have that coefficient being three. So I'm gonna write down equation two again. Uh, just so that I have them one on top of the other, lined up ready to do my subtraction or addition. And let's re-put that line there. So I've now done step two because I have a pair of coefficients that are identical. Pop over and have a look at step three. Step three says eliminate by adding or subtracting. And then SSS, which means same signs subtract. Here I have positive 3y, and here I have positive 3y. Because the signs are the same, I'm going to go ahead and subtract them. So I'll draw a line to show I'm doing subtraction, just like we did in elementary school. And I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to subtract equation 2. So I have negative 21 minus negative 2. I think that's going to work out to be negative 19x. Then I have positive 3y. Oh, sorry, that should be in yellow. Negative 19x. I have positive 3y minus positive 3y, so those will cancel. And that's that whole elimination step. We've eliminated our variable of y. Then I have negative 57 minus negative 19. I've got to be careful with my integers here, but if I start at negative 57 and I take away a negative, it'll get larger. So it's going to work out to be negative 38. And we've eliminated a variable. The next step, step four, says solve for the remaining variable. So if we take a look at our work, there's only one variable remaining. We have an equation, negative 19x equals negative 38. To solve, I'm going to eliminate this negative 19. I'll undo that operation by using the opposite operation. And since negative 19 was multiplied by x, I'll divide by negative 19 to eliminate it. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So those will cancel, and I'll be left with just x on the left-hand side, and negative 38 divided by negative 19 is positive 2. So now we're off to step 5, and this is very similar to our substitution steps. In fact, everything from step 4 down is identical to solving by substitution. So step 5 says substitute that value in another line. So I'll go and write substitute x equals 2, and I get to pick whichever line I want. I think it's probably going to be easiest to pick line 1 because there's less numbers going on, so I'm going to substitute into line 1. Although if I picked line 2, I would have the exact same answer. So I'll write out all of line 1, and now I'll write it out again, but instead of writing the x, I'm going to write the value that I had found in my previous step, which was 2. So I have negative seven times two plus y equals negative 19. I think I'll simplify this. That's gonna be negative 14 plus y equals negative 19. And moving back over here that that substitution is done, I just have to solve for the remaining variable. So we've already solved for one variable. We're now solving for the remaining variable to find our other coordinate. 
I've got a simple one step equation. I have to get rid of this negative 14. I'll move that term to the other side. What I do to one side, adding 14, I must do to the other. These cancel, meet, and meet. Sorry for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption. The joys of trying to take things in one cake. Okay, so that's gone. And we're left with just y on the left. And negative 19 plus 14 is negative 5. So we now have the other coordinate. Our first coordinate was x equals 2. And our second coordinate is y equals negative 5. So it's time to write our solution. The solution is 2, negative 5. And that's how you solve a system of linear equations by elimination. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and notify so that that way you can get yourself lined up for all the sweet merch we have on discount. Uh, if you're looking for the promo code for our clothing shop, it's Gregoris Math 5 today. Gregoris Math 5. Take good care.